In Chennai, the government decides to double the salaries of the MLAs. Sam joining us for more on that from the ground in Chennai. Sam, why the salary hike and what are people in Chennai saying? People in Chennai are quite angry about this development while they don't, uh, uh, in one sense, slam the government decision. They are very clear that the timing is very wrong and even the opposition is quite unhappy about this. They say for a long time the MLAs have been demanding a hike because uh, Tamil Nadu MLAs are paid in one sense much, much less than what their counterparts in other states they are time when the farmers are in distress when the entire state is under a 140 year work drought they say this is not uh, this will not augur really well uh, one young mla from the dmk crb raj has said that uh, he would uh, give the entire uh, uh, the, the uh, excess money mla should be paid to uh, poor people in this constituency other mla you know, spend a lot in terms of uh, the overhead the, the amount they pay for the telephone the rent for their office and the kind of money they pay uh, constituents from their, from their home job. They say, in one sense, it's been a long pending demand, but uh, the timing, they are very unhappy. They say the priority of the government at the moment should be to take care of the farmers' concern, to waive farmer loans, to mount pressure on the central government and make sure that farmers of all uh, kinds, not just the poor and marginal farmers, but even farmers who hold more than five acre land, their loans with the nationalist banks have to be completely waived off and the government should have made sure that they mount pressure with the central government to get enough funds to make this possible. So people are quite angry, even when uh, MLAs are quite angry. The opposition also is criticizing the ruling party, saying that they're using this as a strategy to keep their flock together. Remember, the AIDMP is also facing uh, factionism within them. They are in three different factions. The Sasikala camp, the EPS camp, and the OPS camp. And, uh, right. All right, Sam, as you're mentioning, just really bad timing on the part of the Tamil Nadu government. Thanks so much for joining us with all those details.